Well, domestic violence cases are on the rise worldwide with all of the stay at home orders in place. Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams spoke exclusively to Team 12's Kareba Devine about the toll it's taking on victims trapped with abusive partners, something one Valley survivor knows all too well. At one point, I didn't know who I was anymore. Leslie Beatty is a domestic violence survivor. And, and it could be a very frightening time for those who are living with an abusive partner. She escaped before the coronavirus pandemic, but many are not as fortunate. We're all more stressed than we've been in a long time. Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams is keeping a close eye on the numbers. They show a dramatic rise in the number of domestic violence calls, going from around 1,700 in January of this year to 1,786 in February, and then more than 2,000 calls in March when the shelter-in-place order in Arizona took effect. Are these numbers alarming to you? Absolutely. Those spikes are increasing and they're very concerning, not just for the Phoenix Police Department, but for the city as well. And in the first five days of April, Phoenix police got 393 calls for domestic violence. If those numbers continue all month, we could see more than 2,300 calls this April. Victims who already have the feeling of isolation and fear, stay-at-home orders can give abusers more power. What the suspects want is they want to keep you silent. But there is help. You can text 911 and you can also call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. And Chief Williams says there are ways to reach out without tipping off your abuser. When you go to grocery stores, there's information on domestic violence in each one of the restrooms. You may not be able to talk. You may not be able to log on to the computer. But can you walk outside and take the trash out and then send a quick text so you can alert us? As for Leslie, she says don't wait to get out. It was a very deep, dark period, a journey where I had to go within and find my strength. But I go back to reaching out to those, or those support organizations for um, the support that you need. And this year, victims of domestic violence can use a new website to seek an order of protection. After filling out the form, the information is automatically sent to the courts and you're given the opportunity to quickly see a judge who can issue the order. Also, as an added safety feature, users can click a safety button that immediately saves all their information and directs them to a different website if the abuser walks in on them. Just go to azpoint.azcourts.gov.